Green Berets are the United States' oldest and arguably best Special Forces unit. They are known for their extremely hard training, guerrilla warfare, and going behind enemy lines to make connections with the foreign locals. Green Berets were founded in 1952 as the 10th Special Forces Group. It started as the 10th and not the 1st, so the Soviets would think that we had 9 other Special Forces Groups. This was the first military unit with the official purpose of conducting unconventional warfare, also known as guerrilla warfare. Colonel Aaron Banks was put in charge of the newly formed Green Berets. Banks in World War II was a part of a team who would perform raids with local guerrilla fighters during the war. Banks had all members of the 10th Special Forces Group wear Green Berets, which was influenced from the French's headgear in World War II, and he picked green because of the color of the British commandos in World War II. However, the Army didn't make these berets official, so they were only allowed to wear it while they were in the field. But in 1961, John F. Kennedy visited Fort Bragg and met with a Special Forces Group. It was then when he made the Green Berets official military gear, which then led to their new name, the Green Berets. By the mid-60s, the Green Berets' mission expanded from just guerrilla warfare to foreign civil affairs and psychological warfare. The Green Berets' first time to show off their importance and dominance was in Vietnam. They started in the beginning of the war by training local Vietnamese civilians how to fight and defend their villages. Green Berets then started conducting intelligence missions, along with weeding out Viet Cong and Viet Cong supporters in local villages. They also worked alongside the CIA that gathered all types of intelligence and conducted a wide range of missions for the CIA. It was during Vietnam when the Green Berets really first built a name for themselves. It wasn't until the War on Terror when they got to show off their skills again. During the War on Terror, Green Berets performed missions to stop terrorists and insurgents around the world. They did this through unconventional warfare, training foreign allied military forces, special reconnaissance missions, and security force assistance for friendly and developing nations. Just weeks after 9-11, 12 Green Berets were inserted into Afghanistan to liberate the locals from the Taliban. They had no tanks and trucks, so the 12 Green Berets rode on horseback to achieve their mission. They conducted missions in multiple different countries for 20 plus years during the War on Terror. Green Berets today are seen as some of the best soldiers around the world and have always lived by their motto, Dio Presso Liber, which means to free the oppressed.